are heading right now to base camp. The plane just arrived and we're gonna get all the gear loaded and hopefully have a successful hunt. I was waiting in the undertow. For most people, the trip to the Yukon will start right here. But for us, it started back in 2005, when my dad decided to take me for the first time to the Yukon, just when I turned 18. He felt in love with the Yukon back in the 70s, and since then, it has been his favorite place to travel. Waves that shake me out out of my skin Never been so easy Losing my direction My bearings have me south of home But I've been wrong before I was waiting in the undertow Back then, I was a young kid full of dreams. And my dream, after watching and reading so much about the Yukon, was to harvest the moose with a traditional bow. Sure enough, after 15 days of hunting without a single opportunity, I realized that hunting the moose wasn't as easy as it looked, as densities of animals in the Yukon are very low. Animal densities are defined during the hardest time of the year, and the Yukon is not the nicest place to live in the winter time. Aquí tenemos un hombre derrotado. So I went back home and analyzed all my mistakes to make sure that if I would ever had a second chance, I would be ready to make the most out of it. Life, two flight trips, and we are in camp. Thanks, God. <laughs> we saw two moose in 200 kilometers, so. And 50, at, at least 50, 50 rams. Well, not no rams, 50, yeah. 50, 50 sheep. 50 sheep. So. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> After a couple of flights, we finally made it to our camp, which was located by the Nisling River. We checked our equipment and got ready to go out hunting the following day. We had 10 full days ahead of us to make it happen. There are several ways of hunting moose, and on this trip, instead of repeating a horseback hunt like we did last time, we decided to try something different. Our plan was to use a boat instead to travel along the river, a new way of hunting that we were really excited to experience. We have a hole, which is not good, the water is coming in, so we're gonna try to fix it and see if we can keep hunting. If not, there's gonna be a lot of walking involved. Yeah. <laughs> One of the best times of the day was definitely catching up with that around the campfire and sharing our daily stories. So day two, early morning start today. We're gonna take advantage of the first hours of the day. It's super cold now, so 
Things should be getting better. Let's go. We're gonna start day three. Beautiful sunrise, but still a little bit too warm. But according to Dom, today is the day, so we'll see. Beautiful, beautiful morning. We saw two bulls, but not big enough. And now we're back in camp. Something went wrong with the motor, the oil, the gas. We are, we had to come back to camp to try to fix the motor. But the weather is cold. It's way colder now, so we hopefully will be back in the river pretty soon. This is getting better. It's, it's day, so. Back in the game, temperatures are colder, but still we haven't seen much movement. So we are keep moving along the river and keep calling. So, Captain, what do you think about the boat? What's going on? The boat is fucked. It's a piece of shit. It should be fucking, fucking sank with a bunch of rocks and we'll build a raft and then we'll float down and that'll be the best bit for this freaking outfit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a submarine, class A, nuclear. We're retroactive, not fit for duty. <laughs> There is water inside the boat. We have another big hole, or the one we had before, open again. 
um, we need to get back to camp. Every single day, every single morning, afternoon, we are having problems with this boat. But we need to get it fixed properly for when the good times start, we can be hunting full time. But this is hunting. Let's see, let's see if we can fix it and we can get back in the river. Some days are just better than others, but maybe it was nature trying really hard to send us a message. Really early in the mornings, the forest is just dead quiet, and we will take advantage of that to go and listen for an answer. So it's our fifth morning. We decided to change plans. If the boat breaks four times, nature is sending you a signal. So we decided to come here at dark, close to camp, walking. There is an open area. We're going to be calling, and hopefully we'll get something.
He's the man, eh? Dominic. Head <laughs> on, brother. Pack that thing back to camp. Steak tonight. Teamwork. Yeah. The best part about shooting my moose is that I could join now my dad to harvest his. running pretty low and if it doesn't rain pretty quick we're not gonna be able to travel the river so, let's see keep you guys posted
moose are massive animals, but the forest is even bigger. Slowly, the days were passing by, and for some reason, we couldn't find the bull we were after. On the afternoon of day 8, on our way back to camp, we decided to make one last stop to check a cow that we had seen before, in hopes that with the rat warming up, she wouldn't be alone anymore. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, Cody. <laughs> Good. That's our moose. That's the one. That's the one. Our moose. Jefe. Bueno, jefe. <laughs> Beautiful, Franz. We got the moose. <laughs> we have got the moose. We have been Are chasing you? this moose. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> it's in the middle of the water. I'm going to go down. We just got the moose. It's a beauty, but we need to come up tomorrow and try to get it out of the water. Yeah. Hope it will be floating. Beautiful moose. And we just have to tie it down so it doesn't disappear overnight. <laughs> Son of a gun. It's a beauty. Look at the front on that side. Yeah, me al front de la izquierda. Big front. Real nice. Es que todavía queda, eh, de front, eh. Mira, mira, eh, que todavía está bajo el agua. Eh. Papá, mira, mírame. Enhorabuena. Operation rescuing the moose from underwater. <laughs> See how this turns out. Let's check it out. Precioso, precioso, tiene unos frontes espectaculares. 
es un bicharraco y era el bicho que llevábamos tres o cuatro días detrás de él y al final ha caído. Es un magnífico disparo. My dad has been lucky to travel all over the world hunting, but still, up to this date, if you will have to pick only one hunting destination and animal, it will still be the Yukon Moose. Thank you.